This assignment tutorial is for number four. I'm going to show you this. I have my assignment open on my other computer. The guidelines here it tells me what, what the objectives are. So first is draw a rectangle that is the same size as your plate. So I already have a plate on here. It's this red line. And it says my plate is four by eight, four in height. So I'm going to come over to the rectangle button. And I'm going to type in a height of 4 and a width of 8. And I'm going to use the tab key to move between boxes. I'm going to put a 0 in the X, a 0 in the Y, and a 0 in the Z. And hit apply. And then it says, so I'm going to hit the right key to end this command. Um, it says uh, draw a circle somewhere. So I'm going to come over here, place a circle somewhere off to the side. And next it says to expand the circle using the scale command. So the idea here is just to learn the scale command a little bit. And if I click on this circle and hit the scale, I can take off my snap setting. And, um, you know, you can kind of see there's, all, there's a lot of different features with the scale command. You can kind of mess around with them. Um, I usually like the proportional button. And that just kind of helps keep it from getting elongated or anything. So I just made the circle a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit close to get out of that command. So then I'm looking at the instructions again. And it, it tells me to put uh, um, up some text inside the circle. So I just put uh, my Y in there. Hit close. So now I want to center the circle. And the Y in the circle. So I'm going to select the Y and then I'm going to hit the shift button and select the circle. And I'm going to go transform align to centers. So now those are together and they're centered. So now I just have to group it. So I'm going to select them both again. See how they're both selected. Um, hit shift and then or make a box around it. And I'm going to go group. So I did that and now I'm trying to center them in the center of the bigger rectangle. So I'm going to click on this and now they're all one. So see when I click on that they both go. And then I'm going to click on the outside rectangle and I'm going to go transform align to centers. So now that's in the middle. Alright, I'm going to put my name on this thing. And hit close there. And I'll go file, save as. And this is number four, and I'll save that, and then I'll put that file, I'll send it to my teacher on Schoology instead of his email, and then he'll get that. All right, so that was a tutorial for assignment number four.